Hello everyone and welcome back to the Base Bros Show. This week we are taking a look at a game we had high hopes for, but stopped playing from a lack of content. So without any further ado, let's get into Warhammer 40k Dark Shit. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I mean Dark Tide. Oh, good God! What? Big um, beast! A liberal white woman! The Nurgle! A hinge girl! A hinge girl! Beast of hinge! <laughs> For those of you who don't know what Darktide is, it is a sci-fi co-op shooter set in the universe of everyone's favorite high-testosterone, liver-eating, sigma-male, man-children's board game, Warhammer 40k. It was made by the same studio who made the previous two entries set in the Warhammer fantasy. Neither of us have played Vermintide very much, but from what we could tell from the hype of these games, this studio had some major cojones to throw around in the making games fun category. Well, unfortunately, like most modern game companies and publishers, they were either forced or indulged in laziness and greed over actually releasing a full game, mind you, for 40 whole dollars, and as you're about to see, has severely impacted the game for the worse. There's one aspect of this game the studio nailed, it is the presentation. The graphics, level design, and especially the music have captured the 40k universe like no other game has before it. For as much as we like to poke fun at Warhammer, the great enemy designs, spectacular level vistas, and overall atmosphere will get any fan of science fiction giddy. Before I played Darktide, I only had a passing interest in the series as a whole. But when we started playing, the game world really started to pull me in. And there I was a day later looking up Warhammer lore videos. They truly do the world as a whole justice. From the blast of a bolt gun, the pew pew of the las gun, the deca 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 of the ogren cannons, and the screams of the psychers. And I could just go on and on about the presentation. If you love Warhammer, this could be a selling point alone if you've been itching for a well-presented first-person shooter set in the world. The music by Jesper Kide deserves mention as well. He did the soundtrack for the Vermintide games, and for once you can have 40k music playing in the background that isn't that Child of Oma Saya track. Tracks like Imperial Advance, Disposal Unit, and Entering Throneside are just so damn good and fit perfectly in the world of Warhammer. And here is where we reach the conundrum. That's about all that is actually good good about the game. Everything else related to the actual gameplay and core gameplay loop, especially for a loot-based co-op shooter, is either mediocre or, or just non-existent. Get ready to hear the cold hard truth from us, because this ain't gonna be pretty. There's nothing like a good co-op FPS to pass the time and have some fun with friends. When this game first came out, we were looking for something to sink our teeth into that wasn't a competitive hardcore shooter. We also didn't have a lot of responsibilities when the game came out, so we hoped this game would give us at least 40 or 50 hours of content, especially for a near full priced $40. For those of you who don't know our metric, the game should give you at least 10 hours for every $10 you put into it. And this mainly applies to modern day AA or AAA releases. Well, uh, before we made this review, we got 15 hours out of it? Yeah. I would say after 5 hours, we nearly saw and beat everything this game had to offer. The other 9 was just as grinding for little to no reason than to just shoot the shit and try to get our money's worth out of this damn game. Yeah, even making this review, we played like four rounds, and it was just so damn boring that we didn't feel like playing the fifth for B-roll. There's just no one attempting to play it after you try out the weapons for each class. Literally all it is is seeing numbers go up for your weapons after a while. There's no crafting in this game, the upgrade system, challenge system, and shop system are bare bones. We are talking no effort, literally just grinding to get money and two materials randomly placed in levels. Just like all garbage AA and AAA games, they add these superfluous systems that literally add nothing to the fucking game. These RPG light systems are so stupid, but it's in everything, because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, these companies are too lazy to add engaging gameplay loops, so they create this artificial fear of missing out or make the number get bigger color-coded loot system you see in, in these Chinese gotcha games. It's, it's fucking retarded. Look at Left 4 Dead 2. It's so damn fun because the player makes meaningful decisions in how they play, 
what they equip on the fly. There's no stupid number system or shop or upgrade system. Everything happens within the actual gameplay, not some boring ass hub world. When you play each map in Darktide, there is no deviation or incentive to explore, explore other than collect three bum dingers, which just gives you more money at the end of the level. Sure, the guns are fun and there is variation, but there are no interesting side weapons, perks, non-standard utility items, or overall, like we said before, after five hours, that's basically it. There's nothing more, it's just the same shit after five hours. Abilities and these trades you get as you level up feel like they do nothing, since most of them are passive plus or minus point zero 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 minuscule like five, like 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 less than one percent buffs that don't do shit. Or hell, even if they do do something, they don't show it in the game. They don't add any visual effects. It just makes you kill things or make you resist damage slightly better. So yeah, it's it's dog shit. I'm I'm gonna be honest. It's it's it's, it's stupid. It's not fun. Um, plus 5% damage on a tweaker who is uncircumcised. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's an elite unit? Oh, you do plus 5% damage? When does that matter? Tell me, when, when is that 5% really going to matter? Don't start going and being like a meta loser. Oh, dude, on the highest difficulty, you don't have this maxed out. I'm a, it, that's not fun. It's dumb. You're just going to keep grinding and grinding and grinding until you get, like, good numbers. That's kind of a waste of time, in my opinion. To make matters worse, there isn't even a story. You break out of the prison ship, and then it's just like, okay, do missions. And then for some random-ass Imperium Cracker to say, Oh, you are nobody. You have no fame yet. You have been proving yourself to the Imperium yet. All to some variation at every arbitrary level milestone. And don't go, oh, but Alan, you didn't look at the piss shit codex on the one level that gives two seconds a story. No, that does not count. If the story cutscenes were that important and mattered that much, it should have been front and center. Even Left 4 Dead 2 has a story that elevates the atmosphere through its level dialogue, as well as the level design and mapping itself. I mean, sure, you kill cultists and whatnot. It's it's fun for a little bit, but at the end of the day, you aren't working towards some final confrontation or a big threat. After the ship tutorial level, there are no more story-based levels. What? You, you actually, you know what? We didn't even max out our first characters. That's how bored we got. There, there could be more story levels, but hell, the game is just so boring. What, what's the point? What's the point of even going that far? It's just boring. It's not. It's a waste of time. It's not just the story that's missing. After we played the beta, we were excited for the release content to fully flesh out the game for it to reach its full potential. Release day comes, and they added paid cosmetics. In a fucking $40 game. A few weapons here and there, one special cultist, and a few maps. Essentially, a minor update for the game's release. And it's been three months and they still don't have basic things in the game such as item crafting, scoreboards, additional abilities, additional classes beyond four classes, the list goes on. The groundwork was there, but there's just no meat to this burger. It's a fucking BEYOND BURGER! It's obvious this game is more or less one of those wait three years until the game is finished. Well that's basically Fat Shards Warhammer 40k dark shit. Just another greedy cash grab with a nice coat of paint and boring gameplay. It fits perfectly with the modern trends of the video game industry. Do not waste $40 on this game. Even if you have buddies to play with, it's just not worth the time or investment at normal list price. I'd say if you ever see the game on sale for 15 bucks or less, only then it might just be worth the cost of admission. I mean, there isn't much more to say because the game kind of has nothing to talk about. Even the devs don't really care. As of making this video, they've announced that no new content will, will be released and they will solely be working on bug fixes for the immediate future. So have fun playing the same eight levels over and over again at your own risk. Just remember, this is an issue not just plaguing AA releases like Dark Tide, but the same 
looter shooter rpg like gotcha crap is in almost every AAA studio release if you care about games stop buying this crap and don't make the mistake we made don't enable the industry to make garbage and take a dump down our throats we won't take any more of your time today if there is one game we would recommend to support instead it would be bearer trauma it's a great co-op sci-fi adventure survival game that deserves its own video, one we promise will actually be more positive than negative. That's it for this review. We have more gaming videos to come. Take it easy. Have a great day and keep on gaming.